Um, I'd like to greet our live stream brethren too. Uh, we're thankful you're here with us in spirit. And um, uh, this morning, as we open up the meeting, I want to speak about this treasure we have in earthen vessels. And brethren on live stream, we know you have this treasure too. Um, we see it in your comments and things, and as we think about you as well. Um, but the, the text, that the, my main text is 2 Corinthians 4, 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Now this whole chapter of 2 Corinthians 4 speaks about this. And, and we have this treasure in us, brethren. That's a pretty remarkable thing that the Lord has given us His treasure that's within us. Um, and it's increased as the saints meet together, this treasure that we have. We're increasing our Master's goods as we meet together. And this, is, this treasure is also something that we see together. It's not just something one person sees, but we see this together as a body. Notice that Paul is always speaking about the we. He understands the body. Yeah. And uh, we've seen this more and more ourselves. We as a body have been able to, to partake of this thing of the body of Christ. And it's a wonderful thing to see. 2 Corinthians 3.18 is uh, the last verse of chapter 3. And it's right before this one and 4. So I want to go to 2 Corinthians 3.18 and then 2 Corinthians 4.1. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And then 4 1 says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. And um, this, so beholding the glory of the Lord together is a ministry. We are changed, and this we is the body of Christ. It's the same we that's mentioned in Romans 7 when Paul is talking about that um, he says, I delight in the law of God after the inward man. This we is this inward man, this body of Christ together, we. So we are changed together as we behold the glory of the Lord. Amen. And this is done here at these meetings. We, we are all changed. And we've experienced this as we behold this glory of the Lord, this treasure in these earthen vessels. Then we're changed in the same, to, the glory of, in, to the image of God. We're changed from glory to glory. Um, so we delight in beholding this glory and we come together to see this glory of the Lord. Amen. This chapter uh, in 2 Corinthians goes on to talk about uh, that not all can see this treasure. That it is hid from some. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 4, 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So if you can see this treasure, give thanks to God because he's given you to be able to see this. Amen. And it goes on to speak uh, of these trials that we have. So this whole, when I looked into this, this whole chapter is really good. It's not a long chapter, but it, it, it goes together, which all of them do. But it goes together so well. It's, and it um, talks about the trials that we all experience. And and um, speaking of us being troubled on every side, yet not distressed, it says, We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. So it's always talking about we. So these trials that we have, we partake of them together. You may be um, partaking of a trial that is making this treasure grow inside of you. Uh -huh. And we experience this together. As you have a trial, we, as a body, are um, increased. Our treasure is increased and so is yours. Um, we, we bear one another's burdens. We experience trials together. We strengthen one another. So we get to partake of this treasure together. Mm -hmm. um, 2 Corinthians 4.10 through 12 talks about us um, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of Jesus might be manifest in our body. So this treasure that we partake of is this dying uh, to the world and this dying that um, we partake of the Lord Jesus Christ and manifesting his body, his, his life. So these experiences of trials that we have help conform us to his image. And we already know this, Amen. but as we behold this treasure, therefore as we meet together, we get to behold this treasure in our brethren together. Amen. This changing from glory to glory of our brethren. And we get to be increased and we also ex experience increase together. 
as we meet together. We have in the same spirit of faith that the abundant grace might be through the thanks through the thanksgiving giving of many redound to the glory of God. So as we behold this treasure, we can give thanks to the Lord that we see these things in our brethren. So the point I'm bringing out is these treasures that we have in our brethren and how we can behold them as we meet together. Amen. I was listening to the scriptures this week and Exodus 28 2 stuck out to me. It says, And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother for glory and for beauty. So these holy garments that we have, this new man that we've been given, is for glory and for beauty. And not for our glory and beauty only, even though we do get glory and beauty from it, but for the Lord. These garments are a new man, and our new man is what we see, this treasure that we see in one another. So, each one of our brethren are treasures in earthen vessels. This new man is a treasure in earthen vessels, the things that we have of the Lord. This new man's mind is pure. And we come together expecting to see this glory and beauty, and we're not disappointed. We have many treasure chests sitting around in here right now. Uh -huh. So, But to the untrained eye, it doesn't seem so. If someone just came in and, and they weren't uh, in the Lord, they would just see people. They would just see the flesh. But to eyes of faith, we can see a room full of precious gems. Yeah, amen. And these are treasures that, we, that are not shown to the unfaithful. As I've said, they can't see it. These are family jewels. And only the family can really partake of them and see them. Amen. Um, people in the flesh think the brethren are strange. But we see them for who they are. Uh -huh. okay. So those who will get up and speak this morning have given after their ability unto the treasure of the work of building the house of God. Just as in Nehemiah's day, the brethren gave. The thoughts they give us are treasures, and we can store these treasures up in heaven. Our brothers, brethren can give us of their treasures, and theirs will not be diminished. And matter of fact, they will be increased, and so will ours. Amen. So this morning, as we look about and we listen intently to these marvelous truths, let's notice the value of these things that our brethren have brought to show us, these treasures that they give us. Amen. Endeavor to keep them. And to give of your treasure to help build the house of God. And together we will behold the glory of the Lord. Yeah, amen. I would like to end with Jude 124 and 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his joy of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. Amen.